in late. Now you're going to find in this particular uh, situation, these judges, I mean, let's give these, these two gentlemen a hand. You're going to be just a man. Because it's a beautiful day in March. A beautiful day in March. Yes. We wanted to do this for the seniors. So we're not looking for a thousand people to come up rebel rousing. We wanted to do this for the seniors. By a show of hands, how many people over 21? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that constitutes you as a senior. All right, we can do this. Now, in saying that, I'm sharing that with you today. I would be remiss if I did not introduce Mr. Harold Lucas. This is quote unquote his house, Bronzeville Visit Visitor Information Center. And we at Senior Health Consultants appreciate him allowing us to house in his house seniors to learn about the judges. So for the judges, I want you to understand this relationship that has emerged between our relationship as a nonprofit with another nonprofit that's established here and that has a rich history. So the focus point is on the judges, the focus point is on the seniors, but I gotta let Harold, if you will, come up and give us a history of how we're standing in this very influential historical place right now. Thank you. One of my best friends on Facebook. <laughs> I mean, good to see you, my brother. Yeah, I've been in a while. Uh, uh, you see the quote from John Johnson on the wall. You see the staff. He started here as an office boy in 1938. He worked specifically at another one. Another one right here, you know, <laughs> the history of Lou Jones uh, as her administrative assistant. Uh, we've been involved in these issues for 30 years. This is the Black Belt. This is the Promised Land. There won't be no more Promised Lands. We came to the Northern City in the Great Migration seeking the Promised Land. We saved the buildings that made up the Black Metropolis to destroy the district. And I'm developing those buildings as a national heritage area. Plus the cherry on top of the Sunday. For me, as an advocate of the Black Metropolis Convention and Tourism Council, this is the Bible one. That's the advocate for the construction of President Obama's presidential library on the site of Michael Reese Hospital. Need I say more for highest and best use of a piece of real estate we paid $100 million for Go ahead. in our misguided attempt to get the Olympics, which you couldn't have gotten unless you ran two times for it internationally. And that's why we got knocked out in the first round in the first conversation. Mm -hmm. So now we have this prime piece of real estate that we demolished. We fought for the buildings that was on the land. They tore all those buildings down. They have an RFP on the street now for what for nine hundred thousand dollars to ten companies who are going to write a plan for what's the highest and best use for that facility. So as a destination walking organization for Brownsville, we have taken on a leadership role in advocating for the discussion of how we build the presidential library on that site. I submit to you, if we win that fight and that actually happens, we didn't become an Epcot, we didn't become a Disneyland, we didn't become Go ahead. what's happening in Springfield with the Abraham Lincoln Museum and all the other developments, including the hotel on the back lot here, which is not been drawing, come into focus and we will be able to develop our community between, between McCormick Place and Hyde Park, which recently is the best real estate probably in the entire country at this point. So being be clear, the plan was to move us out of here. We didn't go, we ain't going. This is going to be a premier African American origin heritage tourism destination with the presidential library as the cherry on the cake. So y'all know we could have a big conversation behind that. I have a young student over here I'm being interviewed with. We're moving fast. Welcome to this facility. It holds 80 to 100 people. With that bar mitzvahs, weddings, uh, child uh, birth parties, we do all of that up in here. Uh, we ain't, I say all the time, there's nothing but a piece of drywall separating us from the work of Black Star, which is focused on our children's ed education. I see my good friend Reverend Fellow <laughs> back there in the back. So I've been an activist all my life. His brother can tell you about the Black United Voters of Illinois, but we got to protect that 501c3. I can't talk about cabinets, et cetera, based on that basis, but we want our economic emancipation. That's what it was always about. It ain't going to change. And I would hope that you all get it for your families and your posterity. And I got great grandparents. I turned 70 and survived the triple bypass operation last year, so I'm just humbled to be here. No Lord gave me another That's right, man. Talk to you like I'm talking to you. God bless y'all.
that means to vote. I'm all going to my vote for the next Tuesday because this 26 district race is very important. And I ain't made up my mind on who I'm going to gamble because I'm going to vote. Now I'm going to vote for the president's last race. Right. I wanted to have that tidbit from yeah, the Liberty Party who was just to get a wholesome feel of the, of the quality of the environment, get the who the people are that are supporting them, and how we got to move forward with everybody. I also want to do uh, uh, one more piece. Certain people, because I, I, you know, I do a lot of different businesses and things like that, which is part of networking. So certain people have, have come here and they're really excited about being here. And those people have actually helped sponsor these events. One of the main sources is the Brownsville Information Tourism Group, which Carol represents. The other one is the senior health consultants. Okay, these two are the two primary commercialized businesses. So every now and then we throw a little plug for senior health consultants. Because can you raise your hand if you're a senior health consultant in here so people can know who you are? And if you want to know more information about senior health consultants, one of the representatives can talk to you about that of the many services that we provide. Okay, now in doing in doing that. As to piggyback right off of what Judge Boyd mentioned and what Carol kind of alluded to, there's a history behind everything. So we want to keep that in the spirit of this. We had a gentleman that come in late. He's also running for office. I'm going to ask Miss Clara Hubbard to introduce this young man.